Hi and welcome back to this series on the markups, markdowns, and break-even analysis. Okay. In the previ previous video we had gone over the markup based on the cost. And again if you didn't understand something, you know, watch the video again. And if you don't get it from either the textbook or uh, by watching the video, feel free to telephone or email an instructor. Okay. So with the last one being markup based on selling price, like I had said, we covered a lot of the theory and the uh, concepts um, as far as percent markup is concerned. And so that means this is going to be a lot quicker uh, because I'm not going to cover the same things. If you need, if you're missing something, go back and watch the other one. All right, um, because the percent markup based on cost or percent markup based on selling price is still percent markup. Okay, right, so let's move on here. All right, um, we're going to still use our example of $100 for selling price, $60 for cost, and $40 for markup. All right, now. The percent markup on the selling price is our dollar markup of 40 over our selling price of 100, which gives us a 40% markup. Right? 40 divided by 100 is 0.4 times 100 equals 40%. All right? um, notice that we're calculating this percent markup. And just like in the percent markup on cost, you know, if we're just given the percent markup, we're not generally being given the dollar markup. If we're being given the dollar markup, we would just be able to plug that into our basic formula and calculate everything out. But most often, we don't have that. Um, so we have this dollar markup of 40, and we know we want to you know what our selling price is is 100. I mean, if our selling price was 200, well, then our percentage would be different. Okay, um, you know, which is obvious. But uh, the whole idea here is, is if you're given the markup, we wouldn't have to be uh, calculating this percent. But oftentimes, that's all we know is the percentage. Okay, so let's move on. And the same thing with, uh, you know, just like we had cost, you know, we can calculate the selling price, right? Um, we know our dollar markup is 40, okay, and our percentage is 40 percent, right? That's the information we're being given. So if we calculate it out, we have a dollar markup of 40, and that's over the 40 percent. Well, 40% is 0.4. You know, we either divide the 40% by 100 to get 0.4, or we just move the decimal place two places to the left in order to get 0.4. So I have $40 for my markup over 0.4, and that equals $100 for my selling price. Now I know what my selling price is, and I can figure out, two out of three, that my cost is 60 same thing that we had with the markup on cost but instead we're using you know we're, we're calculating the selling price okay um, based upon the person you know the markup on the uh, the selling price and also too uh, just popped into my head and I know I keep on going over this again you know portion base and rate you know in one instance, you know, here's here's my dollar markup. Well, that would be my portion. Okay, my base here is my percent markup on selling price. You know, if I'm being given information, it's you know, it can be confusing to me to try to f remember. Well, is it percent markup on markup on cost or is it percent markup on selling price? I'm, I I end up memorizing too much and then uh, trying to figure stuff out. So I don't want to mess around with portion base and rate. I mean, it is a valid concept, a valid teaching concept. Um, I just particularly don't like using it, so I kind of like skip it and just focus on what is really important. Okay, And in this case here, markup on the selling price. So, just like we had the, you know, we calculate the selling price um, using our cost.
cost, right, um, we have a percent markup on the selling price. Right? Uh, remember that we had said our cost is 40. I'm sorry, our, uh, we, oops, let me back up here. Okay, our dollar markup is 40 and our cost was 60, right? So we know our cost is 60 and we want to calculate the selling price, but we don't know what our markup is. You know, we don't know what that is, but we know that the percentage is 40%. We want to maintain that 40% of the selling price. Right? So, and observe the relationship, the cost divided by 60 divided by 1 minus the percent markup. 40%. Okay. So 60 divided by 0.6, right? 1 minus 40% is 60%. And in a decimal form, 60% is 0.6. So 60 divided by 0.6 is equal to $100. And that's how we can calculate our selling price of 100 and then figure out that our markup is 40 if we need to. So again, real real quick, you know, we knew our cost was 60. Okay? And we knew that the percent markup on selling price is 40. Right? If we plug it into the formula and this is the formula that you you would want to remember, right? Uh, don't worry about this check. I accidentally left that in and I'll, it'll be in the next slide. If you remember the per, calculating the cost, I didn't have the check. I don't like that word check. Um, I accidentally had put it in the slide. But be, as, be it as it may, right? I'm only human just like you. I make mistakes. Okay, so do you. Um, I have a cost of 60 and I was given the percent markup of on sales price. Distinguish between selling price versus cost. Okay, notice that we're calculating the selling price. You know, we can you know from our previous video we calculated the selling price, but that was based upon the cost. This one is based upon the selling price. You have to be able to distinguish between the two. All right, when you're reading a word problem where you're you know being given information, you need to know you know what it is that you're. Uh, that you're receiving. We were given the cost of $60 in both cases. Okay, But one is based upon the cost, this one is based upon the selling price. Right? If I'm using based upon cost, remember it was one, it was multiply times one plus cost times quantity one plus percent markup so the you if you're not sure about which one you're using you need to know because if you don't distinguish between cost and selling price you're, you're calculating the selling price in both instances but you're using the wrong information in the wrong way so yeah you do need to know this here formula right just like you needed to know the other formula but think about the relationship. Look at the other formula. Right? It was cost times one plus the percent markup on cost. Okay? This is divided by one minus on the selling price. I have my cost of 60. Right? And I'm dividing, but in this case when I'm dividing, I'm subtracting instead of multiplying, which will then allow me to end up with a number larger than 60. Right. As you can see by 60 divided by 0 0.6 gives me 100. Again, memorize the formula, but understand what's going on there, because in both instances we're calculating the selling price. And as we move on to the next slide, we have the same issue. I'm calculating the cost. <laughs> well, I'm going to calculate, I can calculate the cost based on cost, and I can calculate the cost based on selling price. Yeah. Same ideas, same thinking. I'm being told 
$100 is my selling price. My percent markup on selling price is 40. 40%. Plug in 100 times 1 minus the 40%. Okay, so that's 100 times 60%. If we plug that into the calculator, 100 times 0.6 gives me my cost of sixty dollars right one hundred times point six remember, right? which gives me a cost of sixty dollars to calculate out the cost and then I can figure out the margin forty okay? again another formula you need to, to remember right? and in remembering this formula think about the relationship I have a selling price. Well, my cost obviously has to be lower. Okay. If I had taken and I'm multiplying the selling price of 100 and I had to add it 1 plus the percentage, well, that would be 100. Uh, you know, that 1 represents the 100, the selling price, just like the 1 had represented the cost of 60. You know, when we're, and when we're using percent markup on cost. Well, if 1 represents the 100 and I add it, this percentage, that's 1.4 more, right? So then my cost would end up being 100 times, you know, whatever, and I would have ended up with a larger number than my sales price, which is not what my cost is. My cost has to be lower than my selling price. So in this relationship, I have to subtract out the percent markup on the selling price, right? A hundred, you know, the selling price times subtracting out that percent markup of 40 which says oh my cost is 60 percent remember the pizza pie 10 6 and 4 and we had 40 percent 60 percent and 100 percent well here's my 40 percent ah my cost has, is is going to be 60 percent of that selling price. Notice dollar amount quantity and using percentages. Okay, where all the confusion comes in. But now, if you think it through and you see it this way, hopefully you can understand that relationship in what you're looking at in the formula. Sure, memorize the formula, but understand what's going on in the formula. Okay. All right. So that's it for this one. All right. Um, the next thing that we'll do is we'll kind of like go over. Oh, well, Actually, um, yeah, let's let's just continue on here uh, since I think this has been pretty short. And what I've done is I've created a slide that is showing you um, the cost and the selling price, right? Um, so that you can see it all on the same uh, slide and to be able to make those comparisons. Um, as a summary, I have a percent markup on cost, which is our dollar markup over the cost. For selling price, right, percentage markup, remember I'm calculating the percentage, I have my markup over the selling price. Only difference is cost versus selling price. The markup stays the same. Right? And again, the reason why I don't want to use portion base and rate, this would be my base. And you know, cost would be base and selling price would be base. Well, you know, I'm gonna get confused. You know, I have to memorize more than one portion base and rate situation and try to remember where to apply it. Better to just use the basic information and stick with that. So I have to calculate a percentage for the markup on cost, calculate a percentage markup on the selling price. Um, once I have that, I could take the markup and then divide by the percent markup on cost, markup divided by the percent markup on the selling price. You know, notice um, uh, you know what you know the denominator again you know which one we're looking at here okay and as a further we we now I realize that you were uh, given four formulas and this slide only has two um, but just look at both and see the differences that's why it's here you can go back to those slides or you can go back in your textbook and and 
find those formulas and write them down and memorize them. But what I want, what I'm doing here is I just want you to see the comparison between the two to understand the differences. Okay, and I didn't want to put four formulas on, which further complicates it. Um, just stick with, you know, look at what we're doing here. This is the sales price divided by, all right, one plus the markup on cost. This is the cost to get the selling price times the cost times the one. Look at the difference. There's a times. There's a divide. We flipped around what we're looking for. Okay, so that was the whole purpose behind this. Just as a quick summary, and for you to you know have some kind of comparison for you to look at, go back and look at all four formulas, right, and put them together. Me presenting it on the screen, yeah, you're going to look at it and you're going to go, oh yeah, wow, wonderful. Okay, um, yeah, there it is. I understand that. But when you go to do it, you, you, chances are you're not going to remember it. Just like you know, asking how do you spell a word. You know, you'll remember it if you go and look up how to spell it yourself. Well, that's what I'm doing to you here. Is I'm saying, okay, here's these formulas. Here's two of them. But what I want you to do is I want you to go back and look at all four and compare them, right, on your own. And then that way you'll have more of a tendency to understand them. And if you get a little lost, again, go back through the, the videos, um, watch them again. And if you still don't understand, you know, call and speak with an instructor or email us. Okay? Thanks for watching.